Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today I am working on a walk-in refrigerator and in this video we're going to go over the setup of the Porta Blaster along with a review. Thank you to everyone tuning to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're going to go over the Porta Blaster. I'm going to show you how to set it up along with how to use it and we're gonna give a review in the end. So the Porta Blaster is a mini coil cleaning machine. Essentially, this is a mini pressure washer. And I must say, right off the bat, this thing is amazing. We are inside of a walk-in refrigerator, partially a beer cooler. And during my last visit where I got this unit up and running, I noticed they needed some maintenance. That coil is filthy. So today we're performing a cleaning. And I figured this would be a perfect time to do a review of the Porta Blaster. Here's the Porta Blaster itself. It is green. It is easy to carry. It's only 11 pounds, very lightweight. It is designed for indoor and outdoor use and comes with a few accessories. So over here, we have a trigger sprayer with wand and adjustable nozzle. We have a sprayer outlet hose with quick connect fittings, a detachable filter screen and a suction hose. Let's begin by opening the box and going over the contents to set up our pump. All right, so here's the pump itself. Very small, looks pretty good. And what I do love about it, it has this little storage compartment in here. So inside here, it fits all your accessories. And here are our accessories. Here's our power cord. Then we have an outlet and an inlet. Fairly simple. There's a switch here where we could either be in outdoor mode, off, or an indoor mode. An indoor mode is just not as powerful as it would be as it would be set to outdoor mode. So you can wash indoor coils and outdoor coils. We have a gauge on here. Now let's go ahead and set this all up. All right, so let's start with our inlet. It's gonna be on this side here and it says in here, follow the arrows. So this is gonna be our inlet. Here we have a strainer with a hose and then a connector. So you will need a bucket for this application. This is good for places where you don't have an actual water source. So you don't have to run a 300 foot water hose. So you can put water in a bucket such as this. And here we have our supply. So we're gonna put the side with the strainer in here. And then we connect this side here, just push it in. All right there. And we have a good connection. So pretty much the way this works is that the water's gonna be in the bucket. It's gonna go through a filter so we don't contaminate and clog up our pump. And it's gonna pull water into the machine then it's gonna come out on this side. So let's connect our outlet hose along with our wand. Here we have this piece, it's a trigger, and we're simply gonna spin this one on. All right, that side is done. We're gonna take one end, doesn't matter. Right there, heard the click, that's connected. And then the other side is gonna get connected to our outlet. Heard the click and we're done. And pretty much that's how you set it up. And I'll go over a couple more things with you all. Super simple. All right, so I ran my power cord into this drop light. So as you can see, we have a red light. This is now powered. We're gonna put the inlet hose strainer into our bucket. So we can pull the water, it's full of water now. We are indoor, so I'm gonna set it to indoor use. We right here pump engaging. Right there. All right, so we just pressurized and we're ready to roll. Here's our trigger. And you just hit it and you're ready to go.
must say this thing is pretty powerful and you could adjust the nozzle over here. Right now our nozzle is pretty strong. And we can open it up as well. Just turn the nozzle and from here you can see we'll open it up as a mist. That's pretty much all it takes to set up this machine. It is super easy. And from here, just go ahead and clean our coil. It just really is that simple. And when you're done, you can just put all your accessories back into its place. Super simple, it's a very fast thing, and I must say this tool is extremely handy, especially for indoor situations, really. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up and use it. This thing is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend everyone has it. Definitely played a big role in helping to clean this machine as well as so many other units that I have washed with it. It really is a fantastic thing to have on the truck. Not only does it clean coils, but it is a pressure washer. So you can use it to clean many things. Light applications, of course. I even used this to clean my motorcycle and it did a fantastic job. So all in all, I would give it five out of five stars. This thing hasn't let me down yet. It's super lightweight, super convenient, and the price tag is affordable for everyone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.